watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well, today we're going to be looking at another open tag of Super Sack Saturday, where you show a Swiss RB knife on Saturday. I hope everyone will join in on the tag and show their Swiss Army knives and tag their titles Super Sack Saturday. But we've got a Evolution 11 to show you guys today from Victor Knox. But before I get into the review, I want to give a shout out to Singing Toad, who provided this sticker to me. I want to say thank you to him and make sure you're going over his channel and checking him out. He has some fantastic reviews. Make sure you subscribe and like a couple of his videos. Watch along. He does a lot of good work. Dave's just a fantastic, super nice guy, too. So thank you, Dave, for the sticker. Okay, so let's look at the packaging here. We've got the Victorinox-style box, silver, with the Victorinox logo. This one has Victorinox since 1884, the original Swiss Army knife on the side. On this side, though, we've just got the mailing information. So it doesn't tell you to go to their website, which generally means you've got the little instruction pamphlet on the inside. So pretty cool that that one has that. But we're going to be looking at this model, the 2.4803.E Evolution 11 from Victorinox. Now this is an 85 millimeter two layer design. You've got the contoured style handles. That length closed it equates to about three and a quarter inches. So 85 millimeters, three and a quarter inches. Now there's a look at the Celador style scales, the contoured handles there. Just fits really well in the hand. On these particular models, you don't get the inlaid shield. You get the one that's printed on there. So they're a little more delicate. You need to take better care of the, the knife if you don't want that shield to get kind of worn away. But the Celador style scales, you get the contours on both sides. And again, this is the two layer design. Now this one differs, the Evo 11, from the Evo 10 in one way. The Evo 10 has the corkscrew. We've got the Phillips here. You got the scale tools on this one. On the front side, of course, you get the tweezers. So there's a look at your tweezers. And then on the back, the toothpick. Toothpick design. Very nice. And Again, the nice contoured handles. Makes very comfortable grip in the hand. Now, they offer, also offer this with the rubber grip. That's called the Evo Grip 11. But this is just the basic style. And we get a look at the unique, you know, Delamont style blade that you get on this one. A little more body to the blade than the regular spear point that you get on the Victorinox models. All right. So the way it worked out was this was a Vanger design. And then when Victorinox bought them in the early 2000s, they continued to make the knives. And then around 2013, they consolidated the brand into one brand, stopped selling under the Vanger brand, and then discontinued a bunch of the Vanger models. Now, this one was continued on. A lot of the Delamont ones continued on. And so... They just switched the name over to the Victorinox model. And uh, let's call it the Evolution 11. A lot of times the Vanger models are referred more to as the Evo 11. So you got the Evolution 11. And, you know, maintains those old style blades like the Vanger had. But they are, let's call that two and a half, nah, a little more than that. So let's say 2.6 inches there. And then you got a cutting edge right about two and a quarter inches. Look at the tank stamp here. It is a three-line design, nothing on the back, but you have the Delamont as the third line. Okay, so that kind of lets you know this one was made in the Delamont plant. Good snap on the blade. I'd say it's about a five into a six. Good confidence in use there. I mean, it, you can get it to press up, but it's going to require some effort. And I really like the extra belly that you get on these blades. There's a good look at the grind there. You can see that's pretty darn even. Fantastic job by Victorinox. Very even all the way across. Take a quick look at the cut test. Super sharp. No issues there. And they just continue to make quality knives with little to no quality control issues. Fantastic blade. 
Then uh, for your secondary, sorry, wrong side. We've got the little nail cleaner file blade with the diamond style file. You can see how they've made that a pretty short area. Then you got the nail nick here at the top. Good pull on that one too. I'd say about, about a five into a six, much like the main blade. If I could find the nail nick. Easy enough to grab. You just got to get your finger around the right place. Of course, you got the key ring on these, right? Where's the old ones? Maybe gave you a chain. I'm not sure what the what Vanger models. I think they did eventually go to a ring on the, the Vangers. But they may have originally had the chain. Then on this side, you get your normal opening layer. The smaller style flat screwdriver with the can opener. No half stop or anything like that. Just go straight into it. Pull on that's a little stronger. I'd say it's probably about a six. Whereas these other blades are more like a five. And then, of course, you get the larger flat tip screwdriver. You can see this one doesn't uh, has the, uh, the wire bender a little more up into the body. You know, doesn't stick out as far. So you know the body of it is a little more narrow to it. So you don't have a lot more room to get to that wire bender. In fact, when you have it the half position, you can't even access it. So it's a little different how they uh, fold out of the knife. You get a little more longer tang, I guess, on the other Victorinox models. But you can see that's a really nice cap lifter design. And that will work really, really well. No half stop on it at all, really. It just goes right into the full position there. Uh, I'd say the pull on that one, maybe about a six, something like that, about like the other blade. Okay, so the back tools here, we've got a couple. We've got our screwdriver. Of course, I always kind of prefer the Phillips over the corkscrew, so this is why I got the 11 over the 10. But nothing wrong with those either. I mean, you can find uses for that corkscrew that you can't do anything with with the Phillips but nice snap on this one again about a six pull and then your other tool on the back is your standard type of all blade you can see it's kind of greasy still I haven't wiped it off you get the nice pointed style all blade with that cut out for the wedge and you can see how sharp that is that is a fantastic style all blade works really well and then you got the eye if you want to thread anything does a fantastic job of that pull on that one they write about a six as well so pretty consistent across the all the blade uh, strengths on the spring you got about five for the mains and the secondaries are all six so pretty nice little knife nice little carry too i mean it'll fit well in my you know i've got my uh little pocket design here and that fits perfectly in there and I can throw a little you know, if we can see a show there that there you go a little pull on there that'll work great a little Victorinox pull put it on there make it just really easy to retract it a little tight as it is there so probably will use that but like the contoured handles that just makes it a little more comfortable to hold on to even in your left hand you can see how that fits on my hand and then in the right does the same. So they've really kind of thought that out where it works for both right and left-handed people. So really enjoy it. Very comfortable in the hand, even more so than your normal, you know, Celador equal end style. So these uh, Delamont Evo style handles are really pretty nice. Maybe not quite as attractive in appearance and aesthetically, but once you actually use them, you can, can see why, why they've designed them the way they have. And they work really well. So that's going to do it for my review of the Evo 11, guys. Hope you enjoyed my Super Sack Saturday. Please, please, if you're interested, join in. We, uh, we'd we love to see more people participate. And just would be fun in the community to see more Swiss Army knives on Saturday. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. I thank you again to Toad for sending the sticker along. And we'll see you next time. Take care. <music>